Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Tom's Gray here. Probably recognise me from the internet. Do these really sweet um, sort of videos, uh, stories about my, my crazy capers I get up to with my pals. Um, and uh, so anyway, the BBC have obviously sort of cottoned on to my uh, undeniable talent and asked me to make a documentary series looking at what it means, what it means to be a man in Britain um, today, uh, in the 21st century. Um, and uh, you can imagine them sort of saying, you know, who, can we, who could we ask to, who, could, who would be the perfect person to present this? Oh, I've got it, Thomas Gray. <laughs> what is man? What is it that defines him? Are we as we ever were? From courting to Tinder, from Waterloo to 2am burger van bust ups, from goblets of fine wine to fluorescent shops in nightclubs. I want to find out exactly what has become of us and so have travelled the length and breadth of Britain to find an answer. Will I succeed? Probably not, but I'll try my hardest. I always do. So, so just, I, I'll... My first port of call was Basildon in Essex, home to Denise Van Alton, Alison Moyer and Mike, my guide through Essex Laddam, a bodybuilder whose physique reminded me of a fizzing Barocca suddenly hardened by the cold and then covered in tattoos. Hello, Tom. What's going on? Good. Here he is. He's the main man. Uh, you ready for this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go for a little tour around the gym. Uh, the trick is it's all about your breath, isn't it? Well, five on there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, five, yeah, yeah. But we can we can make it look like a more if we need to. <laughs> I've got the wrong way around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Three. Hold it on the last one. Two. Hold it. Hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I wouldn't mind just coming down after work and hanging out in the gym with some of the guys and. You know, they could, they could take the mick out of me because of my soft body. Uh, and that would be fun. And sort of, it would probably make them feel really good about themselves even more as well, because in comparison, I'm very pale and f sort of not, f sort of flabby, yeah. Like a, sort of, a, I've got a body like if you held up a frog for a science experiment. It's that kind of body. Is it disgusting? 100%. Pure protein? No pressure. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go, come on. Yeah. Let's go, come on. Were you ever like a fat boy or skinny or anything? Or have you always uh, like... I was a fat boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, just, just dealt with it. Just dealt with it. Sometimes it's not just about lifting weights in the mirror, it's about proving yourself in the ring. Don't let the abs intimidate you. OK. Those yeah. are the down. So. so, main thing, right, yeah. let's not punch him in the stomach. Because it's quite solid there. Yeah. Punch him in the head. In the head. In the head. Come out. Good. Let me do it now. Stay. Fuck, man. Come in, Jack. Now, Jack. Yeah. Move. There you go. Good, good, good. Come on. Get it out. Because then you've got nothing in you. That's it. Get it out. That's it. Because then when he punches you, you've got nothing in there. Feel fresh? Yeah, yeah. You look brand new. Hits him. Hits him. Good shot. There you go. And again. And again. Tired. Ah. I think I've shit my pants. The guy I was boxing, sick bod, sick bod. Really good guy, nice face, good haircut, sick bod. Uh, I'd, I'd want to look more like that than I would Mike, although I'd, st I'd obviously look more like... I'd want to look more like Mike than me. Are you ready for food, yeah? I like him. He's been really welcoming to me. And usually, like a man like that, I'd walk across the other side of the street, I'd be so scared of him, but actually he's just got a heart of gold, he's got a heart of gold like myself. I think, like, banter is, like, part of being a man, you know? Like, if you just sit there, you, you, like, you don't want to just sit there in a corner and be quiet. You need to be someone. You need to make something of yourself, you know? Like, going down... I think, I think maybe ten years ago, down, down, going down a pub on a Friday, you know, like, after work with a work block was a man thing. But I think, like, I think times are changing. At the end of the day, you go to the gym to better yourself. Yeah. So, basically, if you do make the effort to go to the gym, in your day-to-day -day life, normally, you will be one of them sort of people who want to bet yourself. Even I have both times. Do you? Yeah. Where? Look, I don't even frown, look. Why are you holding yourself? Because I've got, a, I've got a hole in my, my pants in the front. I might slip out. <laughs> what do you reckon his chances are tonight of uh, fitting in with the lads are? Oh, he'll proper fit in. They'll look after him. 
I'm, I'm lying. I am actually lying. You're going to stick out like a sore thumb. Are you doing two hands? <laughs> Fully bronze, we set off for the final stage of my Essex transformation, my Scruffy Barnet. Mike had arranged to take me to his lifelong pal, Brad the Lad Hudson. Barber extraordinaire, real good guy, and a man charged with the task of making me look ream, which means attractive, apparently. If you want to be a real Essex boy, you got this is how you gotta do it. You ready? Yeah. Repeat after me. Yeah. Not being funny or nothing. Not being funny or nothing. But at the end of the day. But at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Obviously, every lad in Essex has got so many girls on the go. You're literally <laughs> constantly on your phone, texting, Snapchat, and obviously Facebook's pretty good when you're out because obviously you can check out, you can see what girls have uploaded photos, see what nightclub they're at, see what pub they're at, and you follow them around, don't you? <laughs> so obviously if you see like the, if you see like a bird drop a like on Facebook and she's yeah. in Rio Bar, like where we're going tonight, obviously that's where we're going to go. So that's high tech stalking. Yeah, high tech stalking. Mm. I've actually got a Snapchat now from a girl. Yeah, Ready? Look. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, I bet she can play a banjo, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I think it actually looks quite sweet. Yeah, I do too. You look fit. <laughs> Mike went home to freshen up and rally his gang for our big night out, and so I decided to stay and have a drink with Brad the Lad and his gaggle of barbershop reprobates. Everything so far had gone to plan. The punching, the pumping, the puking, the preening. Maybe not the puking. Anyway, the point is I was now ready for my night out. Let's do this. Have a new message. Here are your new messages. Hey Tom, I've uh, I've had this really out of hand girl ask me to come round her house tonight. Um, I'm gonna have to blow you out, mate, and uh, leave you to it. So uh, let us know how you get on, right? Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Brad, you beauty. Do you ever, Brad? Uh, good lad. He's a good lad. He saved the day. He's invited us to his club. <laughs> we can go. Cabby, do a quick 360. 180, not 360, because we go in the same direction. <laughs> just, uh, basically, we've been invited down to his club, and we should just we, uh, we, should, we should just do that. Are you, I know you're tired, but you thought we were going home, but we can do that, right? Yo, yo. <laughs> I can't, I can't down, I can't down, I can't even down water. He's one of my best friends. He's one of my, this guy's one of my best friends. Don't know his name yet, but... What's your name? Hello, Katie. Hackney Zoo, yeah. Watch <laughs> yeah. Quick, hurry up. Can you see how we roll? Let's run back. Film his rally. Come on, Aggie. All I need to do, all I need to say is baby. <laughs> baby, 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 oh. Is that the right one? Hey, hey. So tonight was going to be a failure, wasn't it? It was going to be a failure because. Wait, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> it's an absolute blast, honestly. He's a good lad. A little bit shy, so you try. My time in Essex was drawing to a close, and lesson number one was learnt. Lads aren't great at opening up. What they are good at is spraying themselves orange, punching each other in the face, and throwing up outside kebab shops. At this, we excel. Being sensitive to each other's feelings, however, we're not great at that anywhere, and I've learned Essex is no exception. Some people just break your flipping heart. Is it in? <laughs> is it in? <laughs> is that what your bird says? <laughs> well, I don't even have a bird, so joke's on you, Mike. But the great thing about reaching the bottom is there's always someone to lift you back up. 
My trip to Basildon had taught me this. Underneath all the fake tan, bulging biceps and Lynx Africa, being a lad is at its core a very simple thing. Just turn up when you say you will. Anyway, thanks for watching. Me.